Do more cores help video editing softwares? Well, today we're going to find out how DaVinci Resolve performs against a 6 core processor as well as an 8 core processor. This also means that, you know, the Ryzen 5 has lesser threads. So this one, which I'm using for the test, only has about 6 cores and 6 threads, whereas a 7 has 8 cores and 16 threads. Let's dive right into it. So the Ryzen 5, which I'm testing here, has only 6 cores and 6 threads. It's a 3500, uh, it's not a 3600 which usually most of them have. So this one's a OEM processor, has a TDP of about 65 watts. Uh, it's again a 7 nanometer processor, has about 19 MB of cache memory, a uh, base clock of about 3.6 GHz, goes up to 4.1 GHz. So uh, this again is compared with a Ryzen 7 processor, on the other hand which is a 3700X, has 8 cores, almost 35 MB of cache, consumes almost the same amount of power, 65 watts. So this one goes up to 4.4 uh, GHz on full boost and that cache memory can make a big difference. So let's compare these two processors together. All of the hardware used is pretty much the same, it's just the processor which is different. So this whole setup runs on a H500 Cooler Master case, has two sticks of 16 GB Corsair Vengeance RAM at 3000 MHz. Also have a Zotac Amp Edition 1070 Ti. So this is pretty much standard. The total memory is about 32 GB. I know, you know, Ryzen chips work better with 3200 MHz, but I haven't overclocked the memory modules at all. So let's quickly find out how these two different processors work with DaVinci Resolve. So just to give you an idea of how this performs, I loaded up one of my old videos and I just randomly wanted to show you when I scroll through the timelines on DaVinci, you'll notice that on the Ryzen 5, there's a lot of stutter almost everywhere. So whenever you want to do some quick movements, I always notice that there is a small delay. There's a lot of lag. It takes some time. And this is a 4K video which is on the timeline. And you also notice that there's a lot of media offline which keeps coming up now and then. It probably is because of the file, but uh, either ways, I notice that there is a lot of lag when you try to do something on the timeline with a six core processor. Switching over to the Ryzen 7 processor right now is, uh, you know, way more advanced than your Ryzen 5. So with 8 cores and 16 threads, it really helps something like a DaVinci, which is very CPU specific. Although it does use the CUDA cores in your graphics card, it heavily relies on your processor, processor's capabilities to give you that smooth rendering, right? And although it did still stutter a little bit, but I felt that, you know, the overall moving things on the timeline was much, much smoother for the 3700X. So yeah, I, I, I really think that you have more cores and more threads. It really helps something like your DaVinci Resolve or your Adobe Premiere Pro or your Final Cut Pro to process the videos much faster. So what I'm going to do right now is run both of them and show you how well they perform. I also open up Task Manager here to just show you the kind of speeds it's running at. Anyway, so what I'm going to do next is just run a timeline and you know render these two videos for these two processors so i have these side by side and i have sped up the whole video so that you guys can quickly see the results rather than wait for the whole video to render in the meantime if you like the video or if you like to see such videos do consider subscribing and hitting the like button really appreciate it thank you so much So yeah, the Ryzen 7 finished the job in 2 minutes and 53 seconds. That was amazing. Let's see how much the Ryzen 5 takes. Okay, 5 minutes and 5 seconds. So that's nearly 
I guess 55 to 56 percent faster using a Ryzen 7 as compared to a Ryzen 5. And these are the previous generation processors, not even the new generations. I think the gap is much more closer with a you know 5000 series processor. So yeah, so uh, if you do use any of the video editing softwares, make sure that you get more cores and it really makes a lot of difference in your video rendering times. I, I did the same test with a slightly overclocked memory module which is uh, now running at 3200 megahertz and believe it or not it shaved off another 10 seconds so faster memory means faster render times so that's a small video to show you how good davinci resolve performs with two different kinds of processors if you like the video please hit the like button and do consider subscribing thank you so much for watching our tech and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.